Hello, 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 hello. This is V. Scott. Today we will be talking about um, Victoria's Secret model that has broken her silence. Uh, what is her name? Bridget Malcolm. Um, she finally broke her silence about uh, some of the things that goes on, I guess, in the fashion industry. And um, so we're going to go ahead and get right on into it. Victoria's Secret model, Bridget Malcolm, says she was told to use cocaine and have sex to lose weight while underage. Okay, now this, oh my goodness, this is awful. I have been told while still underage to just have a lot of sex to lose weight. So, so that's right there. And here we go, we're going to get all the way into it. Bridget Malcolm is finally speaking out about her traumatic modeling industry experiences. What she could, couldn't do any sooner because of her PTSD. The former Victoria's Secret model who recently revealed that she was rejected from their 2017 runway show for going up a bra size got candid about her struggles in an Instagram video. So she posted this um, conversation to Instagram and I'm, I'm going on and I'm reading it from a um, news site. By the age of 18, I'd lived in three countries alone. I traveled all continents except an, except for Antarctica. And, except for Antarctica, Antarctica, I'd been groomed by a much older man. I'd been sexually assaulted multiple times, Bridget revealed. She continued, I'd been told to do cocaine, to lose weight. By my agent, I had been told while still underage, to just have sex, just have a lot of sex to lose weight, actually is what would have said. I couldn't socialize without drinking. I was developing quite the reliance on Xanax and Ambien in order to get me through the night. And that was before I turned 18, Bridget admitted. This is a shame. This is awful. On top of that, Bridget says that she developed PTSD, anxiety, and depression, all while struggling with anorexia and orthorexia. Things came to a head when she had when she had a nervous breakdown on her 26th birthday. Oh my goodness! And couldn't leave the house without having panic attacks for an entire year. Who? She says she even dealt with a bout of suicidal ideations, which was terrifying. Thankfully, Bridget got the help she needed and is now doing much better, hoping that her voice can make a difference in the fashion industry. I really hope this does make a difference and more people speak out as well. Now, um, so, and here's more of what she had to say. I am two plus years sober. I'm four years in recovery from an eating disorder. I'm happy and balanced, and balanced. I'm strong and I feel the best I've ever felt, Bridget revealed. She added, the reality is I couldn't talk about my experiences before I reached this place because I would have intense PTSD flashbacks. I would have panic attacks and I wouldn't be okay. I am okay now. I'm one of the lucky models able to make a long career out of the fashion industry, but my job should not include abuse, Bridget concluded. So that's what uh, Bridget had to say. And so this is um, right here. If you are someone you know has experienced sexual assault, you can call National assault hotline at 1-800-656-HOPE which routes, which routes the caller to their nearest sexual assault service provider and then you can and then the National Eating Disorder Association helpline is 1-800-931-2237 for 24 hours 7 days a week crisis support text NDA to 741-741 Thank you for listening. Be blessed and have a great one.